Maharashtra and uh, Jharkhand, of course, uh, both uh, of uh, those uh, states that are poll bound have now released their list. And we're talking about Ekna Chinde uh, Sena faction that has released its uh, first list. And this is a list uh, that has uh, now finalized its seat sharing formula. Do remember that the BJP had released its list initially, and now it is a, a list that has now been released uh, by Ekna Chinde faction. The list com compromises of, uh, uh, comprises of 45 candidates for the upcoming Maharashtra polls. Uh, do remember that Maharashtra goes to polls in a single phase on the 20th of November and it is Ekna Shinde who will be contesting from the Kopri Pach, uh, this is the Pach uh, Pakhadi Assembly constituency and the battle for Maharashtra. It's the Shinde Sena that has released that list of 45 candidates after uh, the list of the BJP that was out. Now the big question is in regard uh, to uh, the NBA that is uh, likely to make that announcement as far as their seat sharing formula is concerned and from what we're hearing is that it's Uddhav uh, Thakre Sena to contest 90 to 95 seats and it's the NCP Sharad Pawar group to contest on uh, 64 to about 80 seats and this is a decision after uh, meetings, these are marathon meetings that took place on Tuesday night and we have Radhika joining us to get us more on this. Radhika take us through the series of events and the series, you know, meetings after meetings and finally some decision seems to have been made. That's right. MVA seems to have made decision amid disputes and differences over seat sharing. Of course, yesterday the meeting went on for close to seven to eight hours post midnight. All the leaders were sitting together to come to some sort of consensus. Of course, just less than a month uh, to go for Maharashtra elections after marathon meetings. Now, MVA uh, finalizing a seat sharing formula. This will be released today. Formally, uh, an announcement will be made. Uh, Congress uh, likely to get 100 to 105 seats, Sena 90 to 95 seats and NCP about 80 to 84 seats. So, uh, you know, all in all, it's an equal, almost equal division because we knew for a fact that Congress and Sena will be getting equal numbers. So, just five uh, uh, number differences here and there and four to five seats to be given to smaller parties. Congress, of course, uh, considers itself as the big brother as far as this entire MV equation is concerned, especially and they were after Lok Sabha elections. In fact, uh, post Lok Sabha election results, uh, it is the Congress that won maximum seats as far as MVA is concerned. MVA won 30 out of 48 seats and Congress winning maximum. A uh, great strike rate as far as Congress is concerned uh, during Lok Sabha, which is why it had been negotiating hard uh, for uh, many, many seats. Uh, Congress leaders, in fact, met Sharad Pawar, Uddhav Thakre yesterday. Then a combined meeting happened. All this after disputes over 12 seats in Vidarbha which both the Congress and Sena were fighting for. And there are a few seats in Mumbai also, uh, which both these parties were fighting for. And there were a few uh, differences uh, within uh, NCP as well as Congress. But looks like all these differences have been ironed out uh, uh, and a seat division has uh, taken place. But it was after marathon meetings that they uh, sort of came to a consensus. Um, yesterday, you know, we did speak to Nana Patoli as well, who said that... Uh, you know, there will be consensus reached. These differences are natural and it is, uh, you know, more disputes within Mahayuti. Of course, sir, at the moment, what we are hearing is that Congress to get the larger pie, 100 to 105 seats, Sena are close to 90 to 95 and Sharad Pawar NCP about uh, 80 to 84 seats. Right, uh, Radhika, we also have, uh, you know, uh, Anuj joining us in order to get us a sense of uh, that list that's been released uh, by uh, the Shiv Sena faction. This is, we're talking about the Ek, Shin, uh, Ek Na Chinde Shiv Sena faction that released its first list of 45 candidates. Anuj, take us through the big names on that list. Uh, the big names, of course, include Ek Na Chinde himself, Ubay Samant, and there's several other uh, uh, you know, several other MLAs and all the ministers who were present in Ikna Chinde's cabinet after the rebellion happened a couple of years ago. Now, a major takeaway from this list is that uh, all these MLAs, all those MLAs who had left, uh, uh, you know, the United Shiv Sena and, you know, uh, you know, went with uh, uh, Ikna Chinde to form the alliance with the Bharatiya Janata Party have all been given the ticket. Out of 45, there are 41 incumbent MLAs, except for those who have now been, you know, either made uh, uh, members of parliament or are on other positions. All the others have been given the ticket once again and that suggests that uh, the, the Ekna Chinde faction is very particular about keeping or keeping their trust intact on those who had left United Shiv Sena, uh, you know, uh, with Ekna Chinde. Uh, secondly, we are seeing that, uh, uh, you know, with incumbency, the list is of 45 and we are, uh, uh, this gives us a sense of how much seats Ekna Chinde uh, faction might get in the Mahayuti, uh, in the Mahayuti alliance. Of course, the Bharatiya Janata Party announced their first list of 99 uh, and the second list is expected to come soon. When you talk about the alliance formula or equation in Mahayuti, 
One is following the uh, formula of say 160 to 80 to 50, where 80 is for Iknach Shinde and 50 is for Ajit Pawar. While Ajit Pawar faction has not really put out any message regarding the number of candidates they'll be giving, uh, they'll be giving tickets to, although they had an EB form distribution taking place a couple of days ago, but a formal announcement of list hasn't happened from them, and theirs is the only party which hasn't really done it in Mahayuti, whereas their other two allies have done it already. So the fact that Iknach Shinde has gotten 45 seats out, uh, 45 candidates out in the first list suggests that there might be another 40 40 odd seats which might come out in the uh, in the in the in the following lists and that uh, that would take their tally up to 80 to 85 and that is something that the formula as we had been speaking of uh, for quite some time now uh, would stand uh, would stand correct now second most important thing that happened yesterday as far as the uh, list uh, you know announcing the list is concerned is the maharashtra navnirman sena where raj thakre also announced his list of 45 uh, candidates now an interesting thing here is that uh, out of those 45 candidates 18 are from mumbai and, you know, last week there was a lot of chatter here in Mumbai how even after announcing that he is going to fight the election independently and not with anyone, unlike what was the case in uh, Lok Sabha election where he gave an unconditional support to uh, the NDA alliance. Uh, there were a few meetings, uh, you know, which were reported between uh, between Raj Thakre, Devendra Fadnavis and Eknath Shinde a few days ago, especially regarding seats like Shivdi, seats like Mahim and all of those seats in Mumbai where Raj Thakre, where it was said that Raj Thakre was seeking support from the Mahayuti government. But that does not seem to be the case after what has happened yesterday because uh, uh, it, uh, there, are, there have been several seats where Raj Thakre's MNS and uh, the BJP uh, and of course the Shinde Sena has put uh, put the seats together, which means that uh, the Mahayuti is fighting out fighting it out not just against Mahavikas Agadi but also against MNS, ruling out all the possibilities of any sort of pre-polar lines. Now, what happens after the polls will be something that we need, will need to wait and watch. But uh, a major factor there is that Raj Thakre's son Amit Thakre will be fighting his first election. He becomes the latest uh, uh, latest Thakre entrant in the electoral politics. He'll be fighting his first election from the Mahim constituency of. Uh, uh, of Mumbai, uh, whereas uh, Worli, where uh, uh, you know Raj Thakre did not field a candidate in 2019 because his nephew Aditya Thakre was fighting his first election in 2019, uh, will have his trustee Sandeep Deshpande, uh, you know, fighting it out against Aditya Thakre. So these are the two major uh, uh, news pointers that we got yesterday, as far as the seat sharing is, or as far as the list uh, publications concerned uh, from uh, uh, the third, uh, you know, from from the third alliance partner, uh, that is uh, Shinde Sena and MNS led by Raj Thakre.